Today, let's talk about how to sync offline events using the Conversions API. I also wrote a blog post about this at johnloomer.com slash offline. So understand that like everything else meta, there isn't one simple way to do this. There are limitless possibilities depending on your CRM and just other ways that you have things set up. So I wanted to use a method today that would be as universal as possible. So you will need a business manager account, an ad account, a Google account so that you have access to Google Sheets and a Zapier account. So offline events aren't relevant to everybody. This would be a situation where you have actions that are very important to your business that are not reflected by an online conversion event. A common situation would be you have these leads and you have a sales rep that contacts them and then the conversion is actually recorded by a tag or some other way within your CRM. So we want to pass that information to Meta because we want full attribution for our ads. And in some cases, it's a black hole otherwise. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your business settings, previously known as business manager, Go down to data sources, offline event sets, click add. Name that offline event set, click create. Assign an ad account to it, click next. And if necessary, assign access to individual people as well. The next thing you'll need to do is create a Google Sheet, which will log all of your offline events. How that data gets there could either be manual or automated. You could probably use another Zap to do that as well. But again, I want this to apply to everybody. Don't care how you do it. Just make sure you have a sheet for this purpose. Of course, you may be unclear about the formatting of this data, which is going to be really important. So what are the data columns? What is the actual data flowing through? We need to make sure to get that right or it's not gonna work. This is all dummy data, by the way. So a good way to check that is go into your events manager, data sources, find your offline event set, click upload events. First thing you can do is click any of these links to view examples. If you hover over any of these, it'll give you formatting examples for how these should look. The other thing you can do is click download example CSV file, and then you can use that as a foundation and just make sure that your formatting matches up. You don't necessarily have to upload an initial CSV file, but it's useful because you can at least determine whether or not you've got the formatting correct. So let's do that. So once you've uploaded a CSV, click next map data. And this is where it will show you if you've got anything wrong. Now everything is right, so I don't need to worry about it, but otherwise you can select a specific data field that it should map to. Once you've got that right, make sure the formatting is reflected within your Google Sheet. Next up, we need to create a Zap in Zapier, and that trigger event should be a Google Sheet. So this is what starts the Zap. The actual event should be a new or updated spreadsheet row. Click continue. Then select the actual spreadsheet, the worksheet, and then the trigger column, which should be any column more than likely. Then click continue. Test that trigger to make sure it pulls in data. If we're good, continue. Now we want the action, which should be Facebook offline conversions. The event will be send offline event, click continue, select your business account, and then the event set. And this is a known problem, I assume with Zapier. If you don't see your event set here, do not panic. Go back to events manager, data sources, event set ID, and you'll want to copy that. It should be about 15 characters long, all numeric. Go to custom here within Zapier, paste that in. It'll say no matches found, then click use it, and that's it. Event time, you can actually pull that in if you want from your spreadsheet. Otherwise, if you leave it blank, it will just default to run the, the time of the zap, which if you run this dynamically, that may be ideal. Then go through and select each of these fields from the spreadsheet to reflect these individual fields that Meta is looking for. What data you have here, it's gonna depend. You don't need to provide all of this information. The more that you have, the better for matching purposes. If you know that all these events are going to be the same and classified as say a purchase, do that. 
Otherwise, you may have to go with other. If content type like product or product group is important or relevant, select that. Once you're done, click continue and then test the step. Once that zap is live and you start passing new data to your spreadsheet first, eventually you'll start seeing this in Events Manager. Now understand that it, first of all, might take 30 to 60 minutes just to start populating here. Don't panic. But the other thing is the time and date that is being passed to Conversions API will also be the date where it appears here within your results. Once you do this, you can then add a column for these offline events within Ads Manager. You could potentially optimize for them as well. Once again, for more details on that, go to johnloomer.com slash offline. There are a lot of rabbit holes when it comes to offline events, many different angles you could take, but hopefully this will get you started, especially if you're looking for a very simple way to pass these offline events to Conversions API. This is the way to do it.